Welcome back to the Director's Corner. I am your host, Meet Me on the 50. And currently the youngest HBCU band director in the game at 29 years old. Um, also, the very first Stillman College alum to lead the band, man. So this is this is big right here. I want to welcome y'all to the show, Professor Robert Baxter. Thank you for coming to the show, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, you know, I, I want to say it was New Year's Day, wasn't it? Yes, when sir. you dropped the news. Yes, sir. Was it? Was it? Was that? Was that intentional, bro? Was it, that was. <laughs> it was. It was a new year, new beginnings. You know, like they say. Yeah, man, it's good to have you on the show, bro. Man, I know we're going. We're going to talk. We're going to learn learn more about you, so that people can get to know. You know, who is Mister Baxter, and what, what do you have? Lined up for us with Stillman's band, man. So let's start a little bit from, uh, like, I guess, where are you from originally, bro? Yeah, so I'm a native of Ozark, Alabama. Um, most people have probably never heard of it. It's a small little country town in southeastern Alabama. Um, grew up there, born and raised. I was introduced to music at a pretty early age because my father was a musician. They are currently still is a musician. And... Um, Began playing piano, you know, early childhood and on into playing for the church. Mm -hmm. And around about, I believe it was fifth grade, sixth grade, I was introduced to the trombone, um, as most people get their start in beginner band around that time. Uh, played trombone all the way through middle school. Picked up the baritone in eighth grade. So I was kind of interchangeably playing those when my band director needed me to in high school. Um, played the baritone for concert band, trombone uh, for marching band for three years. And then my senior year, uh, I was put on a tuba because he needed a tuba player. So I played that for marching band, mm -hmm. concert band, and also played bass guitar in jazz band. Hey, you've been all over you've been all over a little bit, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> he put he put me to work. Uh, so you know, upon graduating high school, you know, I had some different options on the table. Um, both of my grandparents who raised me were graduates of HBCUs. Um, they both attended Alabama State University. So I was pretty familiar with, with the schools, not so much the band culture um, that I would come to find out, you know, and coming to Stillman. So we had a recruiter come out to, uh, from Stillman to my high school, Carroll High School in Ozark, Alabama, mm -hmm. and asked the guidance counselor, you know, are there any deserving uh, music or band students that would be deserving of a scholarship. And my guidance counselor knows my family well. And she said, yeah, I got this one kid, you know, and I had just won Most Talented that year, my senior year too, um, for a superlative. So she, you know, got him in contact with me and the rest was history. Mm. Ended up coming to Stillman College um, in 2010 and marched in the band kind of on and off because I had a little bit of a hiccup um, there towards the end of my third year and took some time off and came back and finished in uh, 2017. Um, a little bit before graduating in 2015, um, I pledged Kappa Kappa Psi uh, across the Kappa Omicron chapter, Kappa Kappa Psi KO, hey. um, and have been serving for greater bands since then. So, um, you know, upon graduating from Stillman in 2017, I was then appointed uh, as the director of bands in Maple Heights City School District, which is Greater Cleveland, Ohio. I went north, um, <laughs> had a great experience there, was really able to shape, change, and subdue the culture. Um, and, you know, it's just been really rewarding 
um, over the past five years now, you know, been able to go to that program, start something new. I was a middle school and high school band director. Uh, so I had much experience, you know, teaching those age groups. Um, you know, I had many successes with that band program. So I'm looking forward to, you know, what's coming in the future for Stillman College. You know, this is home for me. So this really is a homecoming. We have homecoming coming up uh, in just a week or so. Dope. This is really homecoming for me. Well, explain yes, that. So, yeah, you guys do not have a football team right now. So I think a lot of a lot of the schools who don't have football teams, they actually celebrate their homecoming during during the spring, man. So um, how's the band coming along, Brian? I know you. this is, this is your second month in, you know, but uh, – <laughs> Yeah, how, how are they coming along? It's coming along, you know. Um, it's a work in progress. There has been many changes mm -hmm. over the past, uh, I could say, three, almost four years now. Um, and we all know that with, you know, changes uh, being made, everybody has a different leadership style. So it's just been um, a bit rough on the students with those changes. But they're, they're learning me. I'm learning them. We've had uh, a lot of successes mm -hmm. over the past month, both musically, um, with discipline, um, with even improved grades, you know, students using, utilizing the Academic Success Center on our campus. So it's really, um, it's a work in progress. You know, yeah. I'm faithful over the few that I'm working with, and I know that God is going to increase um, this program, and I'm just looking forward to the future of that. Um, so we are in preparation for homecoming, which is going to take place on February 19th. It's our homecoming game. And you're correct about schools. Most schools, they don't have um, football actively. They choose to do a spring uh, a spring homecoming, which is, you know, the, the basketball team. And we're inviting all of the Tuscaloosa community, um, you know, friends and colleagues from other colleges and universities to come out and support the Stillman College Tigers. Yeah. Um at homecoming. Yes, sir. So what's the status of the football program? Any any talks of it coming back anytime soon? Absolutely. It's definitely something that's been in uh the talk. Um our president who's been here now for five years, Dr. Cynthia Warwick, has just done a tremendous job at getting the school into a place where it's fiscally sound. Mm -hmm. Um and I think that's been much of her plan and strategy and, and you know, coming into the presidency at Stillman. Um, and, you know, there's talks of bringing that back now that the school is fiscally sound. As of, I think, 2020, you know, the school was completely out of any debts that they had accrued, um, which was quite a sizable amount. So she's been she's been doing a lot of work and football is definitely coming back in the future. Yeah, because I think right now you guys aren't in the uh, in the uh, SAIC, but you were formerly formerly in the SAIC, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, it's a lot of it's, it's, we was just talking about how you know um, the SWAC for the longest time was known to be like the it conference as far as bands, man. But you look at the SEAC now, you know, uh, and if y'all end up coming back to it, bro, it's it's just a lot going on in that conference, man. Oh so, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, football does come back and y'all join that conference again, man. That would be crazy, man. Yeah. So, I I'm definitely excited for that. You know, Miles College is right down the road, mm -hmm. um, who would definitely be competition, you know, with or without a football team. But, you know, Absolutely. Um, I, look, yeah. I look I look forward to those days again um, where, you know, there was that Stillman and Miles competition mm -hmm. you know, since since uh, the inception or release there thereof of the football team. Um, you know, Talladega had got a band, so that's that's good as well. You know, we're just looking forward to all that and hoping even, you know, they come into the conference. Um, yeah. You know, well, speaking so of which, speaking of which, man, so you mentioned a lot of strong programs in the state of Alabama. Uh, obviously, Alabama a and up the street, uh, you know, up the road. You've got mm -hmm. Alabama State down in Montgomery. So how do you, I guess, essentially, I asked the question, how do you compete with such, such, such a robust uh, presence of band programs in one state? You know, I guess... Mm -hmm. What are some things that you want that, that we can look forward to coming out of Stillman, man? Because that's a lot to compete with right there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? With it is. It is. And it's gonna, it's a challenge. Um, but we have a strategy in place to uh, you know, recruit students to our program. Um, we have a lot of great uh really selling points 
for the program being that we offer, we're offering uh, sizable scholarships for students. Um, and also those students who are interested in majoring in music, we now completely have a music education um, certification program, which is the first time when I was, when I attended Stillman, um, the degree was music performance. But now when students come through our music program, they will graduate with a K through 12 certification in music. Um, but beyond that, beyond the educational part, man, we just gonna change the game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have a dynamic team with Eddie Fraction, who has served as an interim um, director of bands and percussion instructor over the last several years. And then Mr. Chris Hill, who is also um, on staff and a, a student director, um, phenomenal arranger. And then myself, I arrange music as well. So that's definitely something that we're going to bring to the table. Um, Okay. We're going to truly establish the Stillman identity. Um, and I think we've always had that. We've always had and had tradition. But I think over the years, we're kind of having those consistent changes. No one style or one particular fashion was really able to be locked in and be in place. And that's something that I'm looking forward to establish, um, establishing that core and that staple sound. Yeah. Um, that sounds nothing like. Uh, other than that, are still in college. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I don't want to give away all my. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> so should. Nah, like, you, you, yeah. <laughs> Just be on the lookout, man. So, you know, um, you're talking about, you know, building your own strategies, but obviously this program was uh, founded in 2000 by Dr. Thomas Lyles, man. And he, uh, you know, laid a strong foundation yes, for the band program. So, uh, how do you look? you know, to, to, to build upon what Dr. Lau has created, but also add your own spin, own flair to it. You know, is that a, is that, is that a challenge? It is. It's going to be a challenge. Um, but one thing that I've definitely been doing, and I'm glad that you asked me about Dr. Lau. I've been doing my research on him and just talking with some other directors who actually, you know, were students of his and just kind of researching his, his person and his character and it's definitely something to be respected. We know that Dr. Lau um, founded the band also at Alabama State University. I want to say back in 1969. I don't want to misquote, but I believe it was 1969, 1968 that he founded the Mighty Marching Hornets and, you know, did, I think, you know, 30 or so plus years. I know at least 30 plus years there as the director of bands. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Dr. McNeely who was the president at, of Stillman at the time, he was a graduate of Alabama State University. So he knew the uh, experience and the product that Dr. Lyle had, and he entrusted him with starting the marching band here. So I, I've heard great things about Dr. Lyle. I did get to meet him very briefly. He came in and spoke with the band back in 2010, and I believe he passed that next year in the summer of 2011. Um, but, you know, he was always said that, you know, he always had a very calm demeanor, but he had a way of, uh, discipline in the band and, 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 you know, reinforcing his expectations for the band, mm -hmm. but he did it with class and he did it with tech. And that's something, you know, I'm a pretty calm demeanor person. Um, so I take that and, um, just drawing from that, drawing from, you know, his leadership style and the leaders that I've had over the years at Stillman. Because I've had some uh, outstanding band directors, some outstanding assistant band directors, um, percussion instructors just around in the Stillman family. I'm going to take all of that. And what I've learned in being just a student at Stillman, um, Stillman way is to do the best, be the best and have the best. Um, keeping God at the center, everything else is going to be all right. So that's just something that I really firmly believe in. And that's what uh, we're going to lay out. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, and um, we kind of touched on the uh, the age, man. So you know, you are currently the youngest band director in the uh, in I want to say all the HBCU bands. Well, it might be all the band, but you know, I haven't done my <laughs> research on all the bands. But HBCU, man, brother uh, Baxter is man. So, do you think um, you know? It, it, obviously, you have to come with your A game, regardless. But being younger than everybody else, do, do you think that you're going to have to come even more? So. Uh, 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 people are going to probably undermine, not undermine you, but what am I trying to say? Other directors probably will look at you like, hmm, you know, he don't have years on his belt yet. 
I can probably, uh, you know, um, outshine them or whatever. But how are you going to come, bro? I mean, just give us an insight. How are you how are you looking at that, man? You come into the game at twenty nine. What do you what do you how are you feeling? Man, we coming out the gate swinging next fall. Okay, okay. You know, um, it's 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 going to be some. Again, it's going to take some time to build a program, but I've told everybody, give me three years and Stillman College will be a beast. There you go. I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's coming, but it's going to take some time. Um, I'm not really moved by that, uh, you know, I guess, challenge or maybe even expectations from, you know, other directors. Because the thing is that I know what has worked for Stillman College. Mm -hmm. um, I know what's working currently. I know what hasn't worked. And there's things I'm going to, you know, continue to figure out you know, what works, what doesn't work. And this is holistically, um, you know, for the program. So I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely coming with a, with a different approach. Um, musically, you know, I've been telling all my students, you know, my, my musical philosophy is that of a fully comprehensive outlet. So we, you know, we're definitely going to be doing um, marching band, absolutely, concert band, jazz band, chamber ensembles. Um, I definitely want to give the students a, a fully comprehensive outlet because, you know, these students that are definitely coming in here for uh, music and to be music majors, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that when they leave Stillman College, when they graduate, yeah. you know, they're going out, they're the next generation of band directors. Mm -hmm. um, so I want them to leave, you know, with a sound comprehension um, of music and be exposed, you know, different opportunities. During my time here at Stillman, I didn't just do you know, the marching band stuff and, you know, Mardi Gras, all that is good. I love it. But, you know, I was able to also go represent the school at the HBCU National Band Directors Consortium, which is held annually in Atlanta. It's a, a conference, if you will, that, you know, students get to come and audition and be in honor bands. So you get in the wind ensemble, the jazz band. And these are the kind of opportunities that I want to create for students, even on the high school middle school level, being a school that facilitates those events. Mm -hmm. uh, during my time in high school, you know, I got to go to district honor band and what we call Seuss honor band up at Troy University. Um, so facilitating those same type of events at Stillman College and giving, spe you know, specifically, definitely students of color, but any student, you know, that opportunity to just experience music in a holistic way. So we're going to listen when I, when we pick up them horns for that marching band. Yeah. Somebody head gonna get took off, <laughs> <laughs> and you got to come that way, man. You have to come that way, bro. It's like I think, in a sense, man, it's getting real friendly, man. It's getting real friendly, and it's not wrong with the camaraderie, <laughs> bro. But it's just like, man, I, I, you know, I still, I'm still one of the ones who still look at band, marching band specifically as a sport, man. It um, absolutely is, and you know, my high school students and my students at Stillman, you know, they they're learning. You know, when we get in front of another band, hey, it's wartime. It is. And, you yeah. know, we can do all that, you know, handshakes and all that afterwards. But, I mean, when we coming in, we come in to handle business. Trust and believe that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's it's becoming kind of protocol at this point for bands to have their own in-house media team. You guys working on one? Do you already have one in place? Yes, sir. We are okay. working on that. We actually um, have already started filming a documentary. Oh, okay. Which is okay. set to release sometime early next year we're aiming for january of next year but it'll oh. be a documentary that's been produced by our digital media uh coordinator uh mm -hmm. and then we have a few students in the band who are actually you know they're going to continue on receiving their band scholarship for their last year um being a part of that media team so we're setting aside scholarship money um so students can be on that media team with the band, you know, still receive some money for school. Yeah. Yes, so I looked up uh, while you were talking, I looked up Ozark, Alabama, man. That's that's actually not far from Tallahassee. You know, it is a school. Not. It's an HBCU in <laughs> Tallahassee, man. So, you know, uh, how, how did that pilot play out that way, man? Were you not interested in going to FAM? I actually auditioned for FAM. Okay. Um, Stillman College gave me more money. Okay. And I had some cousins who went to FAMU, so I was actually able to see their band you know, sometime during my high school. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you know, Stillman College just stuck out to me. And, okay. um, you know, I really got to develop a 
one-on-one -on -one relationship with the director at the time, Mr. Robert Arnold Williams again. Um, and, you know, just really, he was able to, um, you know, coach me and he, he personally toured me and my mother late mm -hmm. one night around Stillman College. So, you know, all of that mattered. Oh, yeah. You know, my, my uh, direction, you know, and coming here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Absolutely, man. So, uh, you know, outside of band, man, you have any hobbies you wanted the people to know about? Like, what else are you in? in, in? <laughs> all right. The question was, man, any hobbies that you have outside of band at all? Oh, man, I like to travel. Definitely. My wife and I, we like to travel. Um, I could probably say that I guess that's my my biggest hobby outside of band is traveling. I was able to see the a lot of the country from an early age. Um, you know, both my grandparents like to travel. So that's just something I've kept on into my adulthood, mm -hmm. um, traveling. And um, that's dope. I really haven't dope. done much of that. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> done much of that myself. Man. I got to get on that. Yes, sir. Um, there's an event, I think, going on. Yeah, in two weeks, the uh, I'll be going to Atlanta for the uh, battle of the bands going on out there, man. Uh, yeah. With COVID, bro, how, you know, COVID has just messed it up for a lot of a lot a lot of programs, bro. I mean, yeah. you're coming in on the tail. Well, not even say the tail end because we're still dealing with it. But um, how are you navigating that, bro? You know, there's a lot of virtual this going on, virtual that. Yeah. You know, yeah, man, it's still a challenge. Um, I definitely had, you know, more experience with it, you know, in my previous position as a high school, middle school director, you know, having to actually teach virtually for half of a year. Um, we were still able, fortunately, to have band practice during those times. Um, but yeah, you know, Stillman has um, policies on, you know, testing. Students have to be tested weekly, whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. But it's... Uh, it's something that we all just working through, uh, navigating through. Um, it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop this train that's coming in the fall, though. Uh, <laughs> you know. So, all right, cool. Uh, talk talk a little bit more about your staff, man. You know, other people helping you run the band program. Yes, sir. So again, yeah, Mr. Eddie Fraction, he has served as the uh, interim director of bands over the past few years. Um, I believe he started here in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he's been here ever since. And then we have Mr. Chris Hill, uh, who's on staff as well, student director and arranger, phenomenal arranger. So I'm, I'm telling you, man, the stuff that this this guy got, the pen game. Chris Hill, is he, <laughs> is from, Stil is he from Stillman too, you said? So he is uh, from Stillman College, but he got his start with school at Bethune-Cookman. Okay. And then you know decided to transfer mm -hmm. from there on. Okay, yes, you, you got the, any uh, auxiliary coordinators? Is it hot? Yes, I do. Uh, Mr. Xavier Jackson is okay. over our um, auxiliary team, our dance team, the Golden Perfection. Mm -hmm. um, and he actually, you know, has some accolades. He just received his master's. I, I, I forget what his other degree is was in, but he just received his master's, a double master's in dance. Um, over in London. So he's been virtually teaching, <laughs> okay. virtually coordinating the dancers um, and still doing a phenomenal job at that, um, getting their routine and stuff together for homecoming. So we're really looking forward to having him. I think he'll be back later this week mm -hmm. in preparation for next week from London. So, yeah. That's um, dope. Yeah. And we're looking to, you know, in the future, as we continue to grow the program, you know, it's going to call for more staffing. And um, we're looking to do that and, you know, grow our music department. Um, again, I want to bring in that fully comprehensive staff um, with having low brass coordinators, upper brass, you know, woodwind, yeah. percussion, all of that. We're, we're adding to the staff in the future. So, yes, sir. Yeah. I see those uh, letters right behind you, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the importance of – Music Greeks, man, it, you know, being part of the band. What, 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 do, what, is, what does Kappa Kappa Psi bring to the Steelman Band Program? Well, it's had a history of, you know, service to the band, and that's really Kappa Kappa Psi's one unifying purpose is that service um, to the college and the university band. So we're, we're actually looking at bringing the chapter back within the next year. Um, I actually didn't want to 
um, upon getting a job here, I was not really concerned with that. I really wanted to get the band together, but I'm seeing the need for that as something for students um, to work towards. And we have both Kappa Kappa Psi and Tau Beta Sigma. Um, and we're looking to bring that chapter back in the fall of this year. So you'll hear some news, you'll see some stuff about that, you know, mm -hmm. towards uh, the end of the fall and maybe possibly Kappa Kappa Psi towards the end of next year. Yeah. Uh, but it's about the service of the band, you know, strolling and doing all that stuff. That's all fun and games, but you know, you got to be about the service to the band. Um, so that's really what I'm looking for. Those students now um, who are, who are joining the band students who possess those leadership skills um, to be parts of those organizations. Absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you, you, you know, you tune in late, man, early in the show, man, throughout, throughout the show, he said he coming hard this fall, bro. He coming hard. Look, he ain't playing no games. You got any call outs? You know what I'm saying? You, you, or you just go, everybody can get it. Man, anybody that want it. <laughs> <laughs> you man. know, um, I think, again, we've always kind of been in the place sometimes, you know, of being an underdog. And that's fine. You know, Stillman has always been that smaller band that can. I mean, that, that sound doesn't match, you know, what you're looking at in front of you. I mean, even the group that we have now, hey, they don't sound like how many we got. Yeah. So when we, uh, you know, we get these new students in here in the fall, man, it's really going to change the tide. Yeah. And we're just looking forward to growth and, uh, and you know, learning and the experience that's going to come along. That's looking great. forward to it, bro. Looking forward, looking forward to it, man. So, um. Yeah, I appreciate you being on the show, man. Like I said, I really just wanted to introduce you to, because you haven't been on any other shows before, have you? I have not. No, I've been on some, you know, stuff on Facebook. Uh, yeah. But not yeah. anything yeah, formally on YouTube, no, sir. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to make sure across the board, man, that and, uh, there's, there's a new there's a new sheriff in town. His name <laughs> is Robert, you know, Robert Baxter, man. He, uh, Stillman College. If you are looking for a band home, you know, you may want to look at what's what's the best way to reach out to you, bro? Actually, the best way to reach out to us is is www.stillmancollegebands.com. We have information on there about how you can join and become a member. Um, we also are offering again up to fourteen thousand dollars in scholarship awards annually um, for those students who are deserving, who are ready to, you know, put some hard work in being one of the best and up and upcoming HBCU marching bands. Um, so that's again www.stillmancollegebands.com, or you can follow us on Instagram at Blue Pride Official. Dope. Just like that's that, it. man. So I will make sure to link all of that in the description of the video. Um, Stillman College, bro. You know, this has uh, been Mr. Robert Baxter right here. This has been the Director's Corner. You know, we back to it. Every Monday, we're going to try to stick to this, man, because I think that. You know, we all we all watch the band clips and we know about this, you know, the bands, but we don't know about the leadership behind the programs, man. I think that's important to learn, man. So, again, thank you for coming on. You always welcome back whenever you're ready, man. You know, uh, I know you're getting ready for homecoming, which is next we say next month or next next when? Saturday, next, next week. Saturday. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, whatever the media team puts out, I'm looking forward to seeing how the band's coming, bro. You know, I know the world is watching, bro. So, again, thanks for coming on, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Alright, you got it. Meet me on the 50. 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 Time to go on some marching band.